So what I get is this rather wonderful old school style of computing. I can see this flashing cursor is part of my command line. It's where I put commands in for things to start or to stop. But I'm going to start by pressing the escape key. This is going to go to the control editor. Remember the escape key, top left of your keyboard. With these brackets here, show me that I'm working in code. There's other modes, we'll be looking at those later. So usually if I wanted to print something to the screen, I would have to find the print block and drag it in. But because I'm using Lua, I can just type if I want to print something. When I'm typing in Lua, I just type in lowercase letters, but they come up as capitals anyway. If you try to type capital letters in, you get these rather wonderful symbols, which we could possibly use later. So for now, I'm just going to type in print. But the minute I finish the word print, you'll see the colour will change. And that's a clue that you're typing in a command. Just like in Make Code and Purple Mash and Scratch, we colour code things. This is a clue to make sure we've done things right. I'm going to put what I want to print in brackets. I don't need to, just make things easier going on. I want to write the word hello world. That's going to be a string of text. String is showed using inverted commas, speech marks. You notice this text has changed blue to show it's a string. Hello world. Close off my speech marks and close my bracket. That's it. If I go back by pressing the escape button, back to the command line, nothing's happened. I still need to run that code. I need to have a computer to execute it. A little bit like pressing the green flag. Do that by pressing run. And return. There we go. Hello world. I could type something else in as well. Hang on. Why is this text not coming up in blue like the other string? That's right, I need to add in my speech max. So now it will print two sections of text. Your first job then. Can you print hello world to the screen and can you run that code? Then, have an experiment. What else can you get the computer to print? Off you go.